Hey, Derek. Um, just Harvard. wondering what you what you make of the defense on a game like this. Obviously, you know, gave up a high shooting percentage, gave up a lot of points, but also forced 27 turnovers, which is a pretty remarkable number. Uh, did you feel like maybe you were gambling a little too much and that's where those turnovers came from? Or was it just turnovers were good, everything else was bad? Uh, no, I mean, I think I think in the first half, at least, because uh, the first half, I think there were 20 total turnovers uh, for 17 points. Uh, given up by by Dallas and and so you know I think overall we felt good about our activity in the first quarter uh, we didn't convert on the turnovers um, as much as we should have you know when you force that many turnovers uh, I, I think we should have you know been able to capitalize on those a, a little bit more but you know part of that is is the work that we still have to do to you know be able to 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 quickly change from defense to offense and and be able to attack and score. Uh, you know, we missed some, you know, some some easy convertible opportunities. Um, overall, defensively, as the game went on, you know, we got worse. Um, you know, that's for sure. I thought in the first quarter wasn't bad. Um, and then as the game went on, the fatigue set in, the frustration, the disappointment of how the game was going, you know, the fact that we were missing shots that, um, you know, we, we felt like we we're capable of making. Uh, then the defense got progressively worse as the game went on. So, um, you know, we'll we'll go back to the drawing board, and uh, you know, get back to work and and uh, you know, try to make sure we're getting better. Um, you know, each time we step on the court. Avi H and B Media. So, coach, um, so you know, obviously the uh, outcome wasn't what you wanted what you wanted it to be, but you know, with so many uh, new pieces and it being game one. Do you think that you all at least had a good grasp of like what you were trying to do out there? Um, I mean, at times, you know, I, I, which, you know, that's the hard part of, uh, you know, when you kind of turn your group over and, and uh, you know, a, a lot of the ability to like read a situation and, um, you know, be able to take advantage of the defense in a particular way, um, <clears throat> at least on the offensive end, you know, requires some connection and, and uh, you know, some understanding of what your teammate is going to do uh, in a particular situation. And I think defensively um, as well, like, you know, the, the trust that you have to have with one another, uh, you know, it, it takes time to build that. And, and I think that was kind of indicative of like, you know, the first quarter being a pretty decent quarter and then how things kind of started to dissipate um, as we got new players onto the court. Um, so, you know, we'll have to figure out now, have to do a better job myself of starting to learn with this group, um, you know, when we can substitute, you know, which players will fit best together on the court um, and how we can, you know, try to hold ourselves together um, during different stretches, uh, you know, with, with, depending on which group is out there. John W. Davis with Windsider. Like you've mentioned, you, know, you started the game off well. It was 16 to 7. There was a timeout, and then the wings kind of took off. What do you think you were doing right when you had that nine point lead, which ended up being your biggest lead of the night? Um, I, I think we were, you know, doing a, a decent job of converting on the turnovers that we were creating. Uh, we, you know, we were making it hard for uh for Dallas to score the ball during that stretch. And you know, we were doing a good job of moving the basketball and and playing well together, um, you know, in that first quarter, uh, you know, which, you know, we, we've we seen, uh, you know, even throughout some of our practices, right, with, with that first group, um, you know, so much more experience um, and, and an understanding of, of how to play the game. Um, you know, they seem to at times at least, you know, have some better rhythm to what they want to do in that first quarter. Um, but at, I, I just think that once we started to make some substitutions and even some of our starters, as they started to get a little fatigued, you know, we weren't able to sustain, um, you know, not just the offensive output, but some of the things we want to execute defensively as well. Miriam Swanson, LA Daily News. Struggled um, rebounding the ball. Is that something that you're concerned about, or, or anything you can attribute that to? No, I mean, I, 
you know, the, the total numbers look really, you know, wide, but because of the turnovers, I mean, we shot the ball so many more times than them. So it, to some degree, they were, you know, they're going to have more rebounds than us, but, you know, for sure, um, you know, a, a, and on top of that, you know, we didn't shoot it well enough to, you know, not give up so many rebounds to our opponents. So um, we for sure have to rebound the basketball better. And, um, you know, I think we will be able to do that. Uh, but, you know, I, I think a lot of it tonight was just, uh, you know, the additional attempts we had at the basket and the fact that we missed so many of our shots. And, um, you know, they didn't miss as many, uh, but they took so many, you know, so many shots less than us. There weren't as many rebounds to get, um, you know, throughout the course of the game. But, you know, we're, we're not an overly big team, so we're, we're definitely going to have to gang rebound and, and uh, rebound by committee. You know, it's, it won't be just Neck and Shanae's responsibility to, to get rebounds. And so we'll definitely need to improve, especially by the time we get to Las Vegas next week against a really big team. Can I ask a quick about Shanae's three-point shooting? She, uh, she has a good stroke. Uh, yeah, no, she has a great stroke and, um, you know, it's something that we've tried to encourage her to, to, to explore more over the last couple of years. And, um, you know, she's put a lot of work in to get to a point where she's confident, um, you know, in it during the game now. And, uh, you know, we feel like it's something that we're going to be able to, um, you know, take advantage of as we get better, you know, offensively. And, um, you know, we, we look forward to being able to, to add that to, uh, you know, to our game as a team. Uh, but, you know, she deserves the credit for, for putting in the work. Time for two more tonight for Coach. We'll go to Sabrina Merchant with SB Nation. Hey, Derek. Uh, just That's wanted nice. to check in on Christy. It looked like she was grabbing her knee in the first half. Is everything all right with her? Yeah, she she um, she was closing out, um, I think, on, on the wing. And, and I think her leg somehow, it got kind of caught – I don't know if it was Enrique or Mo Jefferson. I'll go back and look. And she just kind of like her knee just kind of got not twisted, but um, it just, she just kind of like stopped kind of funny and it just kind of tweaked a little bit. Um, I, I think she's fine, you know, for the most part, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how she feels in the morning, but um, you know, she was, she was able to, you know, get back out there and, and uh, you know, I think overall she felt, you know, pretty good. I mean, she hadn't, you know, she didn't play in, in the two, um, you know, kind of preseason or scrimmage games that we had. So this was Christy's first time playing basketball since 2019. Uh, this was Shanae's first time playing basketball since 2019. Um, and so, um, you know, there were some, some things that we definitely need to improve on, but, you know, I think we recognize that uh, there's a long way to go for us and you know, we just have to be willing to continue to put work in and get better. Uh, something for tonight. Uh, we'll go uh, see the hand went down. We'll go back to Chris. Yeah, hey, Coach, how are you? Good, Chris. How are you? Doing okay. Uh, I just wanted a kind of a two-part question. Um, so what did you think? Of, I just realized this is your third different home court atmosphere in as many years. You had Staples Center in 2019, the bubble in, or the wobble in 2020, and now the LA Convention Center in 2021. I just kind of wanted to get your your take on on that and, and what you thought of the atmosphere here tonight and and what it was closely uh, related to or or what it reminded you of. Yeah, no, um, I mean we're you know we're making the most of uh, you know a challenging situation. Uh, you know, part of it is you know here in LA we're you know we're honestly just not prioritized the way we should be. Um, just to keep it real with you, like, you know, we, you know, we have to work around uh, everything that the men's teams require and we get put last. So, uh, you know, our, our business team and, you know, we're all doing the best we can to create an environment that um, feels as professional as possible for our players. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to have a home court that, um, you know, is the, something that we could rely on. I mean, we, played postseason games in other venues as well. And uh, unfortunately, there's just something that our players have gotten used to, um, but we're going to change that. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get there um, and, and we need to, you know, support from everybody. And like I said, the more you guys write about us and talk about us and, 
and uh, report on us, you know, it helps. So we appreciate it. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, we, there's no excuse. Like, you know, we're still going to go out and play basketball and, and win games. And uh, we didn't do that tonight, but, you know, it had nothing to do with the gym. I mean, they, you know, they were able to put the ball in the basket. We'll figure that out um, as time goes on. Um, you know, we just need a little more time to become more of a team and, and we'll, we'll figure some things out.